crazy to me. Y'all, the Sam Wilson hate is wild. I don't understand the hate for this character. I've been trying to wrap my head around it for a long time. The hashtag Steve Rogers is my Captain America, folks. I don't understand the dislike of Sam Wilson. I don't. This is a character that a lot of people loved. I never met anyone that disliked Sam Wilson until he had the shield and had the suit with the American flag on it. Then all of a sudden, he became everybody's least favorite character, according to these guys. I don't understand it. Try to wrap my head around it. This video, we're going to talk about my thoughts on that. But let's address the matters at hand here first before we get into that. So Cosmic Book News, one of the toilet bowls of the internet when it comes to fandom content, who literally, just like so many of them, will post any clickbaity, you know, uh, egregious stuff to get people to interact with them and get online engagement. It's no big secret. Cosmic Book News is awful. They twist words, they bend the truth, they do everything they can to get you to engage and click on their content. Do not go there looking for anything realistically or remotely um, honest from these guys. So this article here is talking about Captain America 4 problems fans sick of Disney politics. And they're talking about a test screening that may or may not have happened recently where somebody on Twitter talked about going to see this movie. I, I looked into it briefly. I couldn't see any other major reactions. This was the only one. So I don't even know if it's real or not. I don't know. It's Twitter. People can lie. Uh, but apparently they went there and some of the stuff didn't work in the film. And so they were talking about it on Twitter. And so Everybody thinks that this movie is going to be a disaster now. Oh, it's awful. It's going to, the sky is falling, right? You do not fundamentally understand what test screenings are if you do not get the, that they're going to get negative feedback uh, with a film like a work in progress movie. This movie is undergoing major reshoots. And from what I could find, that this test screening would have been a earlier assembly of the movie, not including all the other stuff that they've done recently. So it was a, a version of it that is probably not totally what it's supposed to be. Uh, test screenings a lot of times are assembly cuts. They're not even the full cut of the movie until very close to the film's release date. And the purpose of test screenings is for people to give constructive criticism and feedback so that the studios and the creative people behind it can actually fix the problems with the movie. That is the purpose of it. So any complaints that anyone would have about the film now is expected. It's expected by the studio when they invite these people in so that they can try and fix the film before it gets released. So this article and all the astroturfing around the movie is a product of just general online discourse. It doesn't mean anything. So now that we got that out of the way, I want to talk a little bit about just this idea of Sam Wilson as Captain America and all of this online bullshit. So Sam Wilson, I believe, became Captain America in the comics around 2014. Don't quote me on that. I, I do know it was like, uh, you know, that was around the era that it would have happened. I'd have to double check. 2014, check my math in the comments. Which was before all of this, like, anti-woke stuff even became a thing. So I don't think there was any reason for, like, the, the you know, if they were going to try and argue that the studios, uh, you know, influenced the comics or whatever. No, that, that wouldn't have had any effect on it. They, they would have done this prior to all of that. So Sam Wilson has been Captain America uh, in one way or another since 2014. So it's been a while. It's been almost, yeah, it's been a decade now, depending on if I'm right on the math or not. It's been a decade. He's been Captain America. And this is the person that Steve Rogers selected in the film universe to take up the mantle, take the shield and become the next like beacon Captain America, you know, uh, character in this universe. And newsflash, these aren't real people. So the writers are writing them how they're writing them. And this is another weird argument I keep hearing is that Captain America isn't a mantle that should be passed on to anybody else. It belongs to Steve Rogers. He is the only Captain America. That's one of the arguments I hear. That's why Sam shouldn't have the shield, shouldn't be wearing the suit, shouldn't be calling himself Captain America because Steve Rogers is the one and only and nobody else can hold that mantle. Okay, well, I can almost guarantee you that if Marvel came out tomorrow and said, hey, we're releasing an, a, 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 you know, a variant film a uh, one-off film where Bucky is going to be wearing the Captain America suit. And it's going to be the story of him as Captain America, which is one of the ones from the comics. That Bucky is going to take on that mantle and give us that film, right? That's They're going to be doing that. If they came out and announced that, all of the people who don't like Sam as Captain America because they don't think the mantle should be passed on to anybody else, they would be on board with Bucky as Captain America. They'd be like, fuck yeah, Bucky is Captain America. That's the right choice. 
That's who should have gotten the, the mantle and the shield, right? That would be the audience's reaction to that. I, I would love to see Bucky as Captain America, but I like Sam as Captain America as well. But so many people believe, oh, the mantle can't be passed on. But if it were Bucky, it would be different. And once you start to unpack this and you're like, okay, so they, they don't think the mantle should be passed on, but they would love it if Bucky were. I've seen that argument. So they would love that if Bucky were Captain America. They believe Steve Rogers is a character that always made the best decisions in the movies. They always sided with them. Everything that he did, they were 100% on board with, except for giving the shield to Sam. Once you start to look at it that way and you're like, well, what is the other, what could be the other reason that this fan favorite character that Steve loved, that the fans loved, that was really good in the movies, um, makes the most sense within the context of the MCU with the shield being passed to them or whatever, to pick up the mantle, become Captain America, who actually didn't want the mantle, if you watch the series, actively fought against picking up the mantle of Captain America. All of these things, if you take all that into context and you're like, wow, so what else could it be? I thought long and hard about this. I'm like, they must not want to see a black man wearing the Captain America suit. Hmm. How did I come to that conclusion based on all that information? I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? It's pretty obvious because he went from being a beloved character as Falcon to being this character that everybody wants to convince other people to hate. All of these anti-fans want to convince everybody to hate him. So went from being a beloved character to that. Um, they wouldn't mind if Bucky picked up the mantle, became Captain America. Sam was already Falcon, so why does he need another title? You know, but they don't have a problem with the Winter Soldier became Captain America. Once you start to put all this together, and you're like, wow, that's... um. The only thing that makes sense is they don't want to see a black guy wearing the American flag as a suit carrying around the shield. I don't make the rules. It's just like process of elimination because there's really no other way you can unpack it. It's comic book canon prior to all of this woke stuff, according to these guys. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's comic book canon. It makes the most sense within the MCU. Yeah, they don't want to see a black guy with the American flag on him.